this show, from what I understand, from what from what is the promos and everything, I'm gonna give a quick synopsis. But before I do all that, this show it has magic in it. That's mm-hmm. correct. It does have magic in it, yes. It has magic in it. So can you tell the listeners is that how that's explained in the show? For you, because you know, okay. little kids yeah. and magic, can can you just you don't have to give everything. Just well, no, I, w- I won't give out. too much away. But I'll say yeah. it's very, like, in the spirit of, like, like Sabrina the Teenage Witch or um, the original, not not the current Netflix one. Let me be clear about that. The TGIF, Sabrina the Teenage <laughs> Witch. Um, even, like, uh, uh, Small Wonder, which was a show in the 80s, early 90s, where, like, Vicky the Robot. Uh, and then Out of This World, where there was a girl who could actually, she put her fingers together like this and she could freeze time. Uh, so it's very much so like in the spirit of that. So the, the basic premise is my daughter um, has, you know, she's she's kind of a wallflower, very shy, socially reserved, not the most confident person when you meet her, but she has this positive affirmation app and the app like gasses her up and gets her ready for presentations and school and everything. And then one night she wishes that the app were real and you know, a shooting star flies by and she comes out of the phone ready to live a real life. Um, and so the only person who knows about her is my daughter, Sadie. Uh, everyone else just thinks that she is an exchange student from Houston um, <laughs> who who we decided to let come live in our house. Uh, but yeah, that, that's how the magic is explained because she's actually like an app uh, out of a phone that came to life. And then that's... Sadie is played by Gabrielle Nevea Green, who is a friend of the show. Also, all that. Yes, members. all so, that. Shout out to uh, Gabrielle for sure. She's so good. She's yeah, so she's, good. She's like one of my she's just too. such. <laughs> she's such a pro already. Like you, you, you just like know that she's got a great head on her shoulders, and she's just on her way. And Lele is just a superstar. And it's so funny to think like we watched episode one and we watched episode nine a couple of weeks ago. And just watching the progression between the two um, as a person who was not an actress, traditionally speaking, and and she's become such a, she's hysterical and she's a natural and it's just magical. And my little son, Peyton Perrine, God, I love that little kid so much. You know, this is his first big TV gig and he's just killing it. And then Caleb Brown, who, who is our little next door neighbor, Jeremy. I mean, it's just a beautiful little, family and a shout out of course to my wife tiffany daniels who i've known for 15 years and then i will tell you this if you have to pretend to be in love with someone especially during a pandemic i hope you're blessed to let it be one of your favorite humans on the the planet because it's just easy awesome yeah (laughs) why are you laughing brian (laughs) because i was i I was thinking there's so many people that you can hate that you had to be stuck with to be in love with (laughs) yeah. <laughs> yes and yes and i will not name names but it has happened right. so this is <laughs> this is best case scenario shout out to tiffany then yeah <laughs> for making it easy <laughs> yeah but uh you know so so lele is an avatar on the nap mm-hmm. and you know like thomas said she pretty much comes to life which will be explained uh i, I just want to know oh before before we get there i'm going to say the show does come out thursday September 23rd, 7 30 p.m. Now, uh, usually shows come out at 8. How do you think the 7 30 spot will differentiate from the usual? I, I, well, I think Nickelodeon is smart doing that because I think Nickelodeon, because our lead in show is uh, um, uh, Young Dylan, Tyler Perry presents Young mm. Dylan. So he comes on at 7, we come on at 7 30. I think it's actually kind of genius because. Thursday is a very competitive night of television. All that television starts at eight. So like even I, as a person who is like an avid fan of Grey's Anatomy, I've seen every episode of Grey's Anatomy. I was like, oh crap, my show comes on Thursday before Grey's comes on. Before, yeah. I can watch my show. So it it also feels like because the show is also, our show really is in a really wonderful way straddling the line between like the traditional sort of teenage sitcom on Nickelodeon and like an adult sort of comedy. You know, um, our writer, David A. Arnold, our creator, really sort of pushes the the comedy as far as he can while still respecting the space it's in. So I think it's going to be a great transitional spot. I think 730 is actually a really, a really smart time for it to air. Yeah, yeah. I mean, and then when you have a talent like Lele, it's important that you, that comedy is definitely input in there because, I mean, from I remember just seeing her 
on on Wildin' Out when she told, oh, yeah, yeah work for Nick. And I was like, I work for me and y'all work for Nick. I was like, this girl is a star. And ironic now because she works with Nick. And from what mm-hmm. I understand, they work with her on our music and also her yep. products and, and other programming. So, um, you know, it's just great that she gets this spotlight and then you guys get to support her. And uh, I'm just excited to see it. So make sure you guys go yeah. check that out on uh, September out. 23rd, 730. I, yeah, I tell people that they're basically like it's like we're like Fresh Prince of bel airing Lele. And I think it's lovely. She's so deserving of it and ready for the moment, which is which is really, really awesome. And I love that they're reviving it in, you know, with this urban feel, because Lele, I mean, she's it. She's she's definitely the one to follow right now, especially for the little ones. And um, like yeah. you said, perfect time so we can watch what we want. The kids can watch what they want. We hop into what we want at eight. I think yeah. Nickelodeon was smart about that. And then um, can you talk about having Will Packer on the producing side as well? What a crazy honor, right? Like, he's right. such a great dude. We, we have not gotten to meet him yet because of COVID. Um, but you know, we've talked to him through zooms and, uh, you know, he's watching our run throughs and, and very, 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 he's loving the show. And it's just really exciting to be in his camp. Cause I'm such a huge fan of what he does. Uh, and so it's like the, again, like all these extra cherries on top of this already wonderful cake. Um, cause I just thought initially, I was like, I love my boss. David A. Arnold is amazing. And, oh, you know, we got John Beck here and Ron Hart who do other Nickelodeon shows and, and Fuller House and stuff. And they're great. And I'm like, also, I work for Will Packer. That's crazy. Like, Will Packer knows who I am. And that blows my mind. And I can't wait to... We were both in Miami last week and I was there for a family wedding. Uh, and I saw him um, on one of his... Uh, this lady, Shayla, who works for him and works with us. I saw her Instagram story. And I text her and I was like, man, I'm here in this bubble for a wedding. I want to hang out with you guys so I can meet boss man. So it's coming. No. And I'm hoping that, look, I'm going to just shameless plug. I'm hoping to meet him too. I got something for you, Will Packer. I got something for you. So <laughs> go ahead, Brian. <laughs> go ahead, Brian. Now, I just want to know from everything that you've been doing up to this point, what can we expect from Bryce? Listen, Bryce is... I'll tell you, Bryce is, 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 he's David A. Arnold, the creator of the show. Like he's definitely got David running through his blood. Uh, and I, and I love David and it's such an honor to uh, be the person he, he chose to be in this space. He's also my dad. Um, my dad is uh, so lovable and also has like this very dry sense of humor that like we just get and love so much. Um, and since I'm not a dad yet in real life, you know, I'm pulling on the fathers that I know. Uh, and so Bryce is just, I mean, he is not afraid to be silly, to laugh at himself. He loves the crap out of his kids. He loves the crap out of his wife. Um, you know, he's a jingle writer. Uh, he and his wife write commercial jingles, which I feel like is just like in the multiverse of Nickelodeon, somewhere shout, you know, graduated from music school and moved on from the Fresh Beat Band and is now married with kids writing jingles somewhere, you know? Uh, but yeah, no, he's just, he's just, I really, really love him. Playing him makes me feel good. Um, you know, like I go to work and I'm just like, oh, I get to be in this, I get to be in Bryce's skin and it makes me happy. You know, like he wasn't, he wasn't the jock in school. He was the theater geek. You know, he was, uh, you know, it's just like, I was like, yeah, right here. Uh, I got you. I was just going to say, as far as Nickelodeon dads go, uh, where do you think Bryce can rank? Like, where do you think the height is for Bryce? Mm, you just automatically want to be the best? Or you think you, you want to climb up to it? How, where do you think that is? Listen, I'm not going to lie to you. Bryce is coming in pretty hot. He's coming in okay. smoking. He's firing on all cylinders. Um, okay. I do think what's interesting is I did my research because I was going and looking at all the dads on Nickelodeon. And I was like, oh, man, there's like a... Like, right now... Um, I, I can't think of his real name right now, but uh, Cole from Martin. Uh, 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 Payne. Carl yeah, Thomas Payne. Payne? Carl Anthony Payne. Carl Anthony Payne. Payne. Yeah. So he is the dad on Young mm-hmm. Dylan. Mm-hmm. And I was like, are we the two black dads on Nickelodeon? That's kind of awesome. Like, if you had told little kid me that I'd be a dad on the network with with Carl Anthony, Carl Anthony Payne, I would have been like, what? And I looked him up and I was like, oh, he's like older than me. And his TV kids are younger than me. 
are younger than my kids. Um, okay, but I think I think Bryce is going to come in pretty pretty smoking. I think that I I'm making a prediction because I want to put it out into the universe. But like, I really do think that I think people will be surprised how much they love Bryce and Trish, and that's my wife. And I think that like I think with date with Nickelodeon allowed David to create some really sort of fun, fully engaged, fully formed parents who have lives, who have humor, who have, you know, who, who are on the ride with the kids, completely aware of what's going on, except for the big secret about Lele. But, you know, we're not just parents who show up and are like there for the butt of the joke. We are, in fact, driving the comedy with the kids. And it's been really, been really, really fun. So okay. to, that to okay. say, I think y'all got to watch out for Bryce. Bryce is going to come in real fast and, okay. uh, and become a favorite. Okay, we're going to be ready.